Hello people, in this video we will be looking at uh, multiple pregnancy. Basically, we will be focusing more on twin pregnancy. So, what do you mean by multiple pregnancy guys? So, there is simultaneous development of two fetuses or more, right? Um, where? In the uterus, right? So, basically it can be twins, that is two fetuses, triplets, three fetuses, quadruplets, four fetuses, five fetuses etc okay so uh, in the one in 80 pregnancies can be twin pregnancy though the incidence is increasing because of ivf etc uh, this is an 1895 rule looks like one in 80 pregnancies twins 80 square one in 80 square pregnancies triplets and one in 80 cube pregnancies would be quadruplets quadruplets okay and so on so for four it's a three here for three it's a two here and for 2, it is a to the power 1 here. Are you understanding? So, if you want to know how many, uh, what is the chances of having 7 children in the uh, fetuses at the same time? 7 means you should, it will be 1 in 80 to the power 6, isn't it? So, this is called as Helen's rule. What rule is it? Helen's rule. Okay. Now, <coughs> uh, we told you that we will be focusing more on twins. Look at the types of twins here. We have dizygotic twins and monozygotic twins. So basically dizygotic twins means there are two over two sperms. Okay, as simple as that. Let's just draw it and understand there are two over and there are two sperms which are separately fertilizing these. Okay, so uh, this will cause two zygotes to dizygotic twins. So this will be uh, this will be leading to these two zygotes implanting separately. So, there will be two placenta and two amniotic sacs. So, there will be dichorionic, diamniotic twins. Okay. So, this will be dichorionic, diamniotic twins. So, dizygotic twins, two over. What, what do you require? Two over. So, so this, these are called as bin ovular, right? Two over. <coughs> Let's draw that. Let us say this is one cycle. This is another cycle of the woman. This is another menstrual cycle of the woman. Okay. So, two ova are released in this cycle. <coughs> so, two ova are released. So, bin ovular, dizygotic twins. Now, the same cycle, two ova are released like this. So, it is possible that one sperm uh, fertilizes this, one sperm fertilizes this. So, um, it can possibly happen with two different intercourses also that these two can be fertilized. This is called a super fecundation. Then you have something called a super fetation. That is, let's say two cycles you need and in this one is there and in this cycle one is there and these two are separately um, uh, fertilized, right? So, again here there could be two different, they have to be two different intercourses. So, basically you should understand here that this is, this one is super fecundation, this one is super fetation. All these will result in dizygotic twins. Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, this super fetation etc. is very, uh, it's, it's more in animals. Okay. Now, so did you understand dizygotic? Dizygotic basically, basically you should understand two ova. So, you need two sperms. This is bin ovular. Okay. So, these people will have, uh, the two zygotes will implant separately. They'll have their own placenta, their own amniotic sac. This is very good because it is di chorionic diamniotic because it is uh, each of them has their own separate source of food and their own rooms you can say okay now um, dizygotic twins guys uh, just focus here let's just say a little more about it basically these two people are um, genetically different two ova two sperms they're genetically different they're more like a brother and sister fraternal twins they are so the word fraternal twins bin ovular twins dizygotic twins all of these are seen okay what and all fraternal twins okay fraternal twins bin ovular the fraternal means they are siblings kind of a resemblance okay now let's move on to monozygotic are you ready guys to move on to uh, monozygotic so monozygotic twins means one zygote so, definitely it will be identical twins. So, identical story starts from here. Monozygotic twins means there is one ovum. So, it is uniovular. So, one ovum, only one sperm can fertilize, right? Now, this one, this will result in what is called as a zygote. 
Now let us say this is the zygote. This zygote is monozygote. This can divide into two, right? So if it divides into two and both of these implant, then again it can be dichorionic diamniotic. But the condition is for uh, this dichorionic diamniotic to happen, this zygote should divide within three days, okay? If it is the division is taking place within 72 hours after fertilization, then they can go and implant as two separate things and they can get their own placenta and they can get their own amniotic sac. Okay, but now let us say that after three days the zygote is dividing. So what happens by the time there is a placenta formation, right? There is a placenta formation. After this, if it is dividing, what will happen? There will be a monochorionic diamniotic twin. So this will be the placenta, right? Now it is dividing. So the chances are that it will be a monochorionic diamniotic mono uh, twins okay so basically these will be monozygotic twins so it will be monochorionic diamniotic so these are also like modi twins modi twins okay you can say these are common in monozygotic okay now let us say it divides even much later so placenta has formed an amniotic sac is there and this is now dividing very late after two weeks after development. Now what will happen here? The embryonic disc is going to uh, divide, right? So now what will happen? There will be two people inside this room, right? Sharing one placenta, one amniotic sac, monochorionic, monoamniotic, momo twins, momo twins, momo twins, monochorionic, monoamniotic twins. These people have more chance of being conjoined twins, Siamese twins, they will be attached, right, at the uh, thorax or at the uh, head, right. So there are a lot of um, terminologies there. Look at this. These are monochorionic, one placenta, one amniotic sac. But at least there are two umbilical cords, looks like. Okay. So here, this is rare. Okay, but if after two weeks of development, if there is division of the embryonic disc, then there will be formation of conjoint twins, Siamese twins. So these people can be attached at the head. That could be a craniophagus. They could be attached at the thorax, thoracophagus, or a, uh, they could have a posterior fusion called as a pyophagus or a ischiophagus, etc., where they are attached at the caudalin. Okay, now look at this photo here. What do you understand here? There's one placenta, so monochorionic diamniotic. You can see two amniotic sacs here, monochorionic diamniotic. So this is again monozygotic twins, you can see, right? And this split would have happened when? This would be after the th third day, right? But before eighth day, okay? So third day to eighth day, if there is a split, that means it has attached, there is a placenta, now they are dividing. So at least each of them got one one amniotic sac. Okay, so these are actually very common, monozygotic. So guys, see, uh, how is it going so far? Did you understand the story? So the sooner they split, is kind of better. Because once they are splitting late, they will have to share everything. Okay, so look at this guys, um, see dichorionic and diamniotic can be either dizygotic or monozygotic. So this condition, what you're seeing here, where they have their own placenta and own amniotic sac, suddenly you may feel it's dizygotic, no, it can even be a monozygotic, which divided within three days of fertilization. The only way for you to know this is uh, whether it is dizygotic or monozygotic is you'll have to check the chromosomes to know whether both of them have identical, if both are identical. But if one is a boy and one is a girl, definitely you know that it is not monozygotic, right? It is dizygotic. Two sperms were required. So, it was a two over two sperms, dizygotic twin. So, these people, we will call them as DD twins. DD twins. DD. Okay. 
so that's why these are in green these are good but these ones monochorionic monoamniotic siamese twins can happen conjoint twins can happen so this is in red okay what do you see here in the first photo guys we see that there are two placenta it may look like a single placenta suddenly but it's actually two placenta two amniotic sacs so this is a dd twin very good what about this one again two placenta two amniotic sacs dd twins but they have written here dizygotic these two dizygotic again here they are labeled it as monozygotic can be dizygotic or monozygotic anyways moving on this one a single placenta they have shown two amniotic sacs again so this is mo d and last one you can see single placenta single amniotic sac mo 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 twins okay we don't like momos here they are saying that this has some intervening membranes and this doesn't have any intervening membranes let's just notice one thing that there is nothing like dichorionic monoamniotic there's nothing like that right there's nothing like dichorionic monoamniotic it doesn't happen like that okay so you have understood the types of twins isn't it dizygotic twin twin fraternal twins bin ovular twins monozygotic twins uni ovular twins right dd twins modi twins momo twins then these are all some things we have to still look at let's uh, all that in the next video guys so far you have looked at multiple pregnancy what is helen's rule then you have looked at the types of twins isn't it and the yeah some diagrams so in the next video we will continue with uh, why twins happen what are the reasons what are the complications of uh, multiple pregnancy for the mother complications of multiple pregnancy for the fetus etc okay